technology hitches a ride on the Coopville Port Townsend Ferry, now equipped to detect and monitor trends and changes in the water below. The ferry makes daily crossings of Admiralty Reach, a six kilometer choke point of mixing tides and currents. Fresh water coming in from the rivers, from the mountains, and it has salt water coming in from the ocean. Jim Thompson, principal oceanographer at the University of Washington's Applied Physics Laboratory, has studied these turbulent waters for years. That turbulence is one of the reasons we're out here. The whole area has very strong tides, a lot of energy here. Energy generating sometimes extreme water velocities, which are now measured by new sensors installed on the ferry. We had incredible support from the Washington State Ferries, from their engineering staff, helping us design the system, helping us do everything from the actual mount for the instrument, which required cutting a 16-inch hole in the, the vessel. The instruments on the ferries are acoustic Doppler current profilers and it's a sonar system that measures the currents from the surface all the way to the bottom. The ADCP system pings the water column. Particles in the column reflect those pings. Bounce back times and the Doppler shift enable calculations of water speed and direction. That information in turn will help scientists track nutrients and algae blooms and detect low oxygen water that could harm aquatic life. This project is in uh, collaboration with the Washington Department of Ecology, who have a mandate to understand water quality in Puget Sound. Part of understanding water quality is understanding where the water is coming from. Sensors on ferries began in 2009, when the Washington Department of Ecology installed oceanographic sensors on the privately operated Victoria Clipper, running twice a day between Seattle and Victoria. That experience helped to lay the groundwork for the sensors aboard the ferries crossing Admiralty Inlet. By having our instruments on the ferries, the ferries cross the entire span 12, 12 times per day. And that allows you to, to create virtual stations across the entire inlet and to be able to be counting all the way across. And so now we can start to get a total estimate for how much water is intruding at the bottom from the ocean and how much water is leaving at the top from the rivers and, and from the fresh water that comes in. The data are available to the public. They're available both through our webpage at APL and also through the Department of Ecology's webpage. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.